What did uh, really rock music mean to the 60s in America? Quite a bit. In fact, it meant more to the lifestyle then than it does now, actually, because um, the way in which rock and roll is consumed these days has more to do with advertising agencies and uh, promotion of products and things like that. Pretty much rock and roll is, has been reduced to a product itself, whereas in the 60s there was a little bit more life to it. It was connected a little bit more closely to the lives of the people who made the music. Whereas today, it is my observation that the people in the music business devote their time to making product rather than music. But then, in, in the 60s, yeah. the music was there, uh, and uh, it, it, it was a revolution, wasn't it? I mean, you, you talk about no, the uh, well, students' revolution, mm. and uh, the music, that was sort of, you know, that had it all, didn't it? That's an exaggeration. I think that's, that's been rom romanticized quite a bit. There was a lot of revolutionary rhetoric, but there were, never was a revolution. You mean, by I and mean, large? By and large, there was nothing that even resembled a revolution. There's a lot of people talking about it. No, but and they like to get together in large numbers and hold signs and march around and talk about it. And then after the demonstration, they would either be beaten up and have to <coughs> get the blood off their head, or they'd get a blowjob from a girl in a smelly blanket. Yes, but it changed people, didn't it? I mean, people are different now than they were 20 years ago. Um, yeah, people are different now than they were 20 years ago, but not necessarily better. A lot of the people who were out there doing those um, marches turned into yuppies. And I don't think that the world is better off because they exist.